Hey YouTube community, I'm Lexi, and this is Lexi's Weekly Lexicon. So today I thought I would talk about babysitting, since I am currently watching my niece. So these are the kind of things that you don't really know so much about when you're watching. A infant, newborn, something like that. So, with the newborns, they tend to sleep a lot, but very short increments of time, like half hour, hour. Um, right now, my niece gets up to the most. She'll sleep as like four hours, maybe five hours, unless it's like really nighttime. Yeah, so she's waking up like once, twice a night. And yeah, so when you're during the day watching her and it is only... A 30 minute nap that means you get less than 15 minutes of time when she's actually fully asleep that you can do something and make a little bit of noise and that she won't wake up and then you know she starts rustling about five ten minutes before um, she's fully up and screaming <laughs> so you kind of want to get everything ready so that it's ready to go and get the formula and all that and I'll show you that and then you want to just do whatever you need to do so I tend to do you know have her take the long nap in the morning so that way I can get showered and get dressed because that takes more than 15 minutes and then hopefully get a breakfast in there um, if she only sleeps an hour then it gets a little difficult to do that but most of the time, their first time waking up in the morning, they're kind of still a little tired. So they can kind of do a little bit play by themselves. So if you put them in like a little gym or, you know, you give them a little stuffed animal and stuff like that. And you just watch them like you can eat breakfast and stuff at that time. Or um, depending on what uh, item you have, like in the bassinet or in like a little playpen type thing something where they're enclosed um or in a crib or so and they can play in that so you can like cook that you don't have to like keep your eyes constantly on them um if you really don't have the time when they're sleeping i kn know i have the problem is that the shower is right next to the crib so it's really hard to take a shower because she wakes up anytime so I tend to do it when she's fully asleep and I know she's probably going to be waking up in like 15 minutes. So that way I get like a good like 5-10 minute shower and she's waking up and then I can quickly like grab a bottle or something like that. But yeah, so I will show you that now. So right now she was asleep but um, now she's kind of doing her own little play time. You can see. So she's got like her little gym, and we got a place in that, or uh, you know, a floor mat. So she doesn't have, you know, like she's fine even if she moves a bit and stuff. It keeps her entertained. It has music and all that. And then also the TV. She just likes this, like really loud noises, the sound of the TV constantly on. But yeah, so now she's up. So she took like a quick little 15, 20 minute nap. Um, she's probably hungry soon. So I will get that ready. Um, so you can see the system we got here. With the bottle warmer, we kind of stopped using it because you know with the formula we can just use room temperature it's a lot faster um, especially since my niece tends to cry like as soon as she wakes up and stuff so then um, and we also heard about breast milk that it tends to um, tends to lose like its nutrients it tends to lose like its nutrients and stuff if it has um, if it's warmed up in the bottle warmer, like the steam or something loses it. So we tend to not use it so much anymore. So you can see we have the bottle warmer, all the bottles set up so on this drying rack, which is really nice. 
and it moves. And it has a second layer too with all the stuff. And then we have all the um, pumping stuff over here to dry. Um, and then we have the big can because it just feels always sensible to get like two of them in there. And there's all the new stuff as well. But yeah, so then I tend to just get the big bottles now she's tending to use at least when she wakes up in the morning. And because these only fill up four ounces without being like problematic because of getting too much air in it. Um, so then these fill up to like eight and a half ounces. Um, so right now she tends to do six ounces in the morning. So we, um, but like she does like four ounces during the day sometimes if she eats more regularly. But yeah, so then we just have it all set up here. The bottle, the air filter thing, and the nipple with the cap. So we just set up these three things so that they're already ready to go. And then, you know, we have the formula here so that you can just scoop it and go. And we got the water, you just pour it in. So you just pour in the water and then pour in, you know, a scoop for every two ounces and then shake it a bit and then you're ready to go. So it's the fastest thing that we found to do. Oh, also with cooking, we tend to just keep a pan skillet and it tends to have a bit of grease on it because we make eggs a lot. Um, but yeah, and then we just take the pan or oil or whatever, um, whatever's fastest and we just keep it, you know, right here and then just pour it in, get the eggs out, crack them and make, you know, different kinds of eggs and stuff and that's like the main go-to because it has there, there's a lot of protein in it and it's just very quick and easy to make so that's always like our go-to thing um, and then also we have the microwavable bacon which we tend to make on the skillet too but it's just faster because it's already like semi cooked so you don't have to worry about that um, but yeah, pretty much like you want to make sure, like any time the baby's sleeping, like if you're, once you get to the point when you can have the baby sleep full nights or at least half in two segments, then you're not going to be as tired to every time the baby sleeps that you're going to sleep. So you can get to do more stuff. So it's a little bit better when they get to like three months old and stuff so you can do more. But yeah, so then you have to kind of like fit your time in. Let's see what the baby wants. So the baby right now, she's kind of playing with herself a bit. Having that time. So see, hey. You wanna be on camera? You wanna be on camera? Yeah, Kiki Kikis! Kiki Kikis, who's that? Say hi! Hi YouTube! I'm telling. But yeah, I love this gym because it just has so many things for her to grab and colors to look at. And, you know, I mean they say like starfish and like French and Spanish as well. Is English, um, you know, as well as this stuff because it's that um, Einstein, I believe. Um, so they always have to have a learning implement. But yeah, and but yeah, she loves this little octopus because he's plush, and then he has this hard ring on it, so she likes to chew on that since the teeth are coming in. And then you know, like this, it stretches. So she likes to fling it and stuff and then it has this mirror she likes to be a little vain and watch herself in the mirror 
Right? And then this is like a rattle. And then this also does like little lights up and plays music and stuff, which we put on sometime. But yeah. Yeah, she likes it, right? You like it. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Look at that. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of smiles. It's a yeah. Who's a smile queen? Who's a smile queen? But yeah, you pretty much want to just enjoy the time that you have babysitting because if you make it into a thing that's such a nuisance and, you know, like trying to get stuff done, right now I'm taking care of my niece, you know, 24-7 to 12 hours to 24-7. So, you know, you kind of have to see the good things. You know, I take her when she's a little... Um, like a little ornery because she's like tired but not that tired for like a nap or something and she's somewhat like medium good then i'll take her for a walk because she tends to like you know going out and just the movement of the stroller it kind of puts her to sleep and stuff so we walk to like cvs or walgreens or something like that because uh, that's the only thing really within walking distance that's not too much because now that it's summer and even when it was spring it can get like a little too hot and she gets a little heated which you have to be careful because if you're hot the baby's definitely hot so you kind of have to think of it that way um, whenever you feel uncomfortable in some way you know the baby's going to be more especially you know most strollers tend to be black and dark colors so they kind of attract the sun as well um, she wants to be in the picture now what's up you were kicking out like a storm before. Yeah. So this is also a good toy that my mother actually got her when she came and stayed at our house for a little bit. Um, because it's got like this, it's almost like plastic or newspaper or something in there. And so she likes the sound when she like grabs at it and it, you know, all that. And then it has a mirror too, which she loves to look at herself. She's just like, who's this baby? And then, you know, it's got the rattles or teething thing. And then it's got the plush. So it's got, and then this is kind of like, there's a hard like tennis ball type thing in there. So she kind of likes that too, if, you know, especially when she's older and she can like more reach and feel that. So that's a good thing. Giraffes are huge. She's probably got like five different kinds. Tends to be the big baby go to because um, they're so cute and she always hugs it like this, like right around the neck. It's like the perfect, you know, for her arm. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is also a good thing. It's a teether. Um, they like it because, like, you know, when they're smaller, they can chew on these little things or like the butt or something and then um i don't know about the head i don't i wouldn't want to chew on that maybe um right now she's putting everything she can find in her mouth but thankfully she can't crawl yet so she can't really grab stuff so stuff is still like if it's within like two feet of her she can't get at it so that's the plus side still but yeah, like this is good. This came with the mat and it's like this squishy kind of hard, somewhat hard still like plastic thing. And she chews on that and puts that in her mouth a lot. Um, but yeah, you pretty much just, as soon as like it touches the ground or touches something else, like we tend to put it on her bib or something, because her bib we keep pretty clean and up high, um, so that the cat can't get to it either, and we pretty much clean the stuff, you know, pretty well every time it touches a surface or someone touches it with not clean hands, so that's like the biggest thing that you should worry about.
also with like the bottle too like you know if you use it you only have like an hour um to finish off the bottle because then it gets like all this bacteria and stuff from her mouth oh also with the formula based you know with the breast milk we tend to just put it in a warm glass in the capsule so that it kind of warms up to room temperature and that way it's kind of just you know perfect room temperature it's not cold what do you need done so, yeah we'll do that that's actually a motto. And with Bosco, you don't get any Is employees, just bosses. Bring the savings to you, the customer. Yeah. I'll give you $100 Ooh. to remove that stuff. Whee! I'm sorry. What I'm you? $100. What's yet. up? But yeah, you pretty much just want to enjoy time being as an aunt, you know. Um, right now, they just, they love you because you give them attention. And yeah, they, you know, they love to play and it's nice to make them smile. Yeah, it's nice to make them smile. But yeah, so just enjoy your time. And, you know, I'm younger than my sister. And so there's, you know, a little, um... You know, like, you know, the sister might be, like, a little nervous to let the younger sister with the baby. But, you know, I've had 10 years of nannying experience, so she's very comfortable with letting me take care of the kid. Because I know some stuff that she didn't know, being a first-time mom. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I can do say to help. I thought that this would be a good video since there's probably a lot of you know younger people that they don't know like the things to do when babysitting and then this is also just for you know even moms and you know new moms and just different styles everybody kind of finds their like swing of things about how to take care of the kid and you know all the little stuff that I do um, that helps me out and be quicker and stuff with getting things done because you know once you get into a pattern and it gets quicker and it gets a lot nicer to then take care of them because you got the swing of things and then you can just worry about the fun times what fun stuff to do right right yeah all right okay bye bye you want to sign off with me okay this was Lexi signing out this is Lexi signing out good job doing this I mean, we were this close to going to Vegas. Oh. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Yeah, yeah. He drove three hours.